Now let's review the order placement part. So let's move to the open trades function. Now here the first thing we have to do is remove the magic number. We don't need a magic number anymore. Now all of this is still the same. We still need the ask price and the bid price and we still need to normalize these prices. And for the string, for the comment, we will not use the magic number. So let's erase all of this. And we of course need the request and result objects. So this is good. And we can use all of this. This is the same. Now we do not have to fill the request.magic. So we erase this. And we use the order send. This is the same. And for the trade information, we can pass this. These are fine. Now let's move to the short part. So for the short part, this is the same. We do not need the magic number. And we can use this order send function. And this is also good. Now for the return of this function, we actually do not need to return the ticket. So here, if the result red code, we can interpret that it is good because it is one of these enumerations, we will just return true. And if it is not one of these, we will return false. So we will convert this function into a boolean type. And that's it. Now let's call this function. So here, instead of the ticket, what we need is a boolean. So let's declare a new variable, which we will name result. And now we do not have to pass a magic number. It only takes these two parameters. Now, if we compile, we should see several errors because we are using now a boolean result variable and we are not using the ticket anymore but still in this expert advisor we have references to ticket here and here so we should see compiler errors but it is fine yes so we will correct this in next lessons